back roads kicking up dust like a chicken fight navigate the sunset to keep me out the city lights hi y'all this is austin from smith game farm um next topic i want to talk to you about is dropping your birds out now the day of the derby what you want to do is you want to not feed your birds or water your birds anything Okay, this goes along with my next topic, which would be pointing. But now, what you want to do is put them in a cage with they can't eat anything. Put them on like a piece of cardboard or just plywood where they can't eat nothing. And you want to, that's this is how you adjust their moisture levels in their body. You put them in there and wait till they poop. If it's too wet, it will be obviously wet. If it's too dry, it'll be just solid. What you want is when if you can pick it up and you toss it and it will stick to like a wall or just basically stick to something, that's what you want. If he's too wet, if he gets cut, he will bleed profusely. If he's too dry, he won't bleed enough to scab over. Don't get me wrong, if he's wet, he'll He'll cut another bird to ribbons, but he he'll if he gets cut one good time, he will bleed out. You just want that fine line. And uh, if he's too wet, what you can do is try taking like a teaspoon of uh, cracked corn, and that should do it. If he's too dry, give him maybe a sip or two of water, and wait and see. That should get him about where you'd need him. Um, when it comes to pointing your birds out, there's there's a fine line. This is this is starving, and this is hungry. That's hungry. You want to meet in the middle. And it all I do to point my birds out, I put them in a cage, and I give them no more than a closed handful of food. If I can fit their food in in the palm of my hand, you know right here and I can close my hand that's what I feed them um, it that's just enough to fill their crawl and it'll it'll get them about where you need them to be it's really it's not as hard as it sounds I thought it was but it's not um, you may hear my my Cecil Davis Kelso in the background stomping around and things he's on point um, if your birds aren't gaining enough weight, um, put a teaspoon of bacon grease in their food or crack a raw egg. Um, that should help bring their bring them their body weight up. You know, um, as far as electrolytes go, I I do something most people don't. I buy this and I put it in and I will put just mix this up with warm water shake it up and I'll feed it to them through a dropper down their throat I'll give them anywhere from six cc's to five six five to six cc's per bird it helps reboost their energy levels and helps get up their metabolism Next is my special electrolyte mix. I can't tell you what's in that, guys. Sorry. But, I mean, but as for all this, it's pretty good. Um, when your bird is on point, you'll notice you cannot have another um, bird within that vicinity. At bird, as in being a stag or a cock in that vicinity. Because he will start pacing his his cage that you got him in. He'll pace it, and he he'll be real restless. If you set another bird down there, you don't want him to hesitate. You want him to just go feet first into the side of the cage. That's how you know your bird is exactly where you need him to be. When he's there, you're ready. And uh, that's pretty much it on dropping your birds out and pointing, and. Uh, I hope this video was insightful, and as always, I hope y'all have a really great day, and 
Thanks for watching.